Hey, what's up guys? This is Phil Ebner and this might be kind of weird. You're watching me in a video screen from QuickTime, but I want to show you how to customize the settings for your webcam. I have a Logitech C920 webcam, which is a great HD webcam that can shoot 1080 quality video. Uh, and so I recommend getting that, but sometimes the lighting just isn't right for shooting uh, a video of yourself. And there's some easy fixes to getting great quality webcam video uh, using a tool called Logitech Camera Settings. Now, so if you do have a Logitech Camera Settings, this is perfect because it gives you ways to customize the uh, video settings. So when you open it up, you can see here, I'm going to move my face over to the right and just like so. Okay, so the first things first is when you're setting up your webcam, you wanna make sure that it's as much at eye level as possible. Now, if I was doing this for a real video, I would hopefully you know set up the background, turn it around, but sometimes even I, I just wanna record a video and get it done with. So I just turn on my webcam, make sure that there's lights uh, behind the camera. So you never want lights coming from behind you unless you have like a nice backlit uh, lighting, but you want it to be coming from in front of you. And so right now I have a lot of soft lighting coming from a few different windows in my bedroom. I'm lucky that way, but sometimes you only have a window or two and they're small or you don't have any windows. So you have to set up some lights. But then sometimes uh, it's too bright, the colors are off, and that's why Logitech camera settings is a great tool to use. So you can see here in this webcam control that you can change the focus, and this is something that you want to set at the beginning of recording, because you've probably noticed in a lot of videos where the webcam is like kind of focusing during the video, if I go back and then if I go really close, it will, change and not that I'm going to be doing that sometimes it just changes automatically so I want to make sure that this auto setting is checked off and then I can just play with the focus now there's no reason to like really focus in on something like that on my grungy hand but maybe you do have something that you want to focus really close up um, otherwise you know you just want to make sure that it's sort of in the infinity focus range which is all the way to the left you can also zoom in if you want of course the quality this isn't like an optical zoom this is a digital zoom which means that it's just sort of multiplying the image that you have from your webcam so it's not really great quality but in case you want to do that you can or you can just do that in editing afterwards under this advanced settings tab this is where you can really control the feeling that your video gives off. So the brightness, you know, you might want to dim it down a little bit, make sure that it's locked off to there. Maybe it's too dark, you want to brighten it up. You know, with your camera, these HD webcams, they're not the greatest. It's not having like having a digital SLR camera or another camera that can really increase the brightness through different things like shutter speed or aperture, but it is a digital way to increase or decrease the brightness. Also, same with contrast. Say you want it to be a little bit more contrasty, which typically gives off a little bit of a higher quality feel. You can do that. Color intensity, this is like saturation. So you want to bump up the saturation, saturation a little bit. That's always good. Or maybe you want black and white. Kind of cool. So if you make it black and white, sometimes the brightness changes so maybe I want to make it a little bit darker and then with white balance I would definitely check off auto because well let me make sure that I have color now so I'm going to set this to about 50 percent but with white balance then you could change it from a warmer color to a cooler color and usually you want something a little bit warmer it gives off a little bit of a you know nice nicer feeling to the viewer and so make sure that this isn't on auto because again it might change throughout the video if the lighting changes outside the window or something like that. So make sure it's all locked down. Basically the rules are that you want everything locked down when you start recording so that it um, isn't changing while you're recording. 
you can save these settings so that the next time you open up Logitech camera settings, these are already set. The device information tab just gives you information about the device itself. Um, but yeah, this is a great way to customize the settings of your camera. Make sure that uh, you have great quality, great looking video using your Logitech cameras. Oh, hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, free resource. Just search for Logitech camera settings application in Google. You can download it there. And I'll include a link down below as well if you're watching this on YouTube or somewhere else. All right, thanks a lot, and we'll see you in another video tip. Bye. Hey, YouTube, you like that video? Well, please subscribe to the channel for more. Check out our website for articles, webinars, books, and more. And of course, check out our online course library, ranging on topics from video making, motion graphics, photography, starting a business, freelancing, to beer brewing, resume writing, adopting a cat, and much more.